Only on News 5 tonight, a Pueblo smoke shop owner taking some heat for an ad she posted for some of her store merchandise on a mobile app. Laura Wilson joins us from our Pueblo studio with why this ad is so controversial, Laura. Yeah, well, at first glance, the ad looks like it's illegal because it appears to be selling meth pipes. But the store owner says this is all a big misunderstanding. She tells News 5 she would never promote illegal drug use in her own community. With her family name displayed in front of this smoke shop, Rose Obley says the reputation of her new business is especially important. Even though it's a smoke shop, I'm proud of it. Since opening in January, the online feedback appeared to all be positive. Right now we're at a 5.0 with I believe it's 39 reviews. Until this week, when she discovered an ad for some of the pipes from her smoke shop on an app called Let Go, classifying them as assorted meth pipes. It made me feel bad because I'm the one that posted the, pot, the pictures, but I'm not the one that did the description. We decided to test out that claim by listing this News 5 office chair for sale. And just like Rose described, it asked you for the price and it says congratulations, it's been posted. If you don't go back in to edit your post, the app generates its own listing for you, which she took down as quickly as possible, but not before screenshots of it, accompanied by anger and criticism, started circulating on Facebook. I want to apologize to the community, letting them know I didn't write that label. I wouldn't do that. I won't. I know what's going on in the community and from the Obley family, I don't want to be associated with that. With things now seemingly getting back to normal, she hopes the ad won't hurt her business and even more so her family's name. It's not only carrying on me, it's my family, my kids, my husband, it's everything. It's, it's Obley, it's, it's our name. And I asked Obley what advice she had for other business owners. She warns them to be very careful using this app and to always go back through and make sure you are manually changing the title of that ad. Now, we did reach out to Let Go with questions on how they generate the title of these listings and if they were aware of this one, but we did not receive a response tonight. Rob Elizabeth, back to you.